Let's keep going back to our standard list of molecules. We're working our way through the IUPAC nomenclature um, steps. So now we're on step four. Step four says, use the lowest possible number to label the important functional groups position, the most important functional groups position, and assign numbers to all of our other substituents. Okay. So here we said this is primarily an alcohol. Now, this is where you'll find that maybe I started numbering from the left and the right a little differently. That's out of habit because you want the lowest number to be on your most important functional group. So if I start this way, it's one, two, three, four, three. If I start this way, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it has to be this, okay? So this would be three is going to be there. And our triple bond, we always put the one that it starts with. So our triple bond is going to be one. And remember our triple bonds have a suffix of Y N E there. Okay. On to this next one. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So either way we do this, because it's right in the middle, it's going to be nice. So this is going to be a 3. If you're feeling overwhelmed by this, I promise I was too. Okay, let's look at this one. Look, we have two double bonds. So what we want is we want the lowest total number here. So if I start this way, my double bond starts at one and it starts at carbon six. If I go the other way and say this was carbon one, it wouldn't start until carbon two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one and six is better than two and seven. So we're gonna have one and six. Now, we also have on here an extra methyl group. So this is a methyl group and it is on carbon seven. Again, we're gonna put all this together in a little bit, but just make yourself some notes. Okay, here, that's why I started from the right on this because when I do that, my triple bond starts at carbon two if I started here, it'd be one, two, it'd be at carbon three, and that's not what we want. So this is at carbon two. So let's say our triple bond is at carbon two, and we also have a methyl group at carbon four. Let's find some more. Okay. Here, I started from the left because one, two, so double bond on carbon one. And then I also have a methyl group on carbon three. So our double bond is on carbon one and our methyl group is on carbon three. Okay, ooh, let's look at this one. This is gonna be all kinds of crazy. All right, so we've got two methyl groups. This is a symmetric molecule, so it wouldn't matter if you started from the left or the right. So notice that carbon two has two methyl groups. So we would have two methyl and a two methyl. On carbon four, we have one methyl. If you've done this before and you think I've made a mistake, just hang with me. And then I have two methyl groups on carbon six. That'd be six methyl, six methyl. And nine. These are, I, I like these um, because when you only have one substituent, it's automatically on carbon one. So it'd be carbon one, as you say, one chloro there. 
Okay, so we've gone through and we have named or we have gotten all of our substituents on there. So we're almost done. We only have, well, really one more step because we're not doing stereochemistry yet.